Welcome to Cortland's splicing demonstration. The first thing we're going to want to do is identify what type and size of rope we have. For today's splicing demo, we will be using 5 8 inch diameter plasma rope. Plasma rope is made from HMPE fiber which is categorized as a class 2 rope. For a lock stitch buried eye splice, on a class 2 rope we will need to bury 3 fid lengths of rope to meet the manufactured splice specifications. To find the correct fid length for each diameter of plasma rope, please refer to the splicing fid chart on the Cortland written instructions. Now that we know we are splicing 5 8 inch plasma rope, we are going to use a 14 inch fid length. Since this is an HMPE rope, we will need to take that 14 inches times 3 to get a splice length of 42 inches. From the bitter end of the rope, measure out and mark our full buried fid length of 42 inches. This will be mark 1. At this point, we are going to make a mark around the circumference of the rope. Using your fid mark as a reference point, form your desired eye size in the bitter end of the rope. When the correct eye size is determined, make a mark on the rope directly opposite from your first fid mark. This is going to be mark 2. Now that we have our fid length and our eye size marked, we're ready to start the beginning stages of turning eyes into this rope. We will start by removing all tape from the bitter end of the rope and cutting it at a 45 degree angle. It will then tape the correct size splicing fit to the bitter end of the rope. We are now going to insert the fid directly with the rope taped to it through the body of the rope at mark 2. The fid should be inserted between the top 6 strands and the bottom 6 strands. This will split the rope in half when the rope is inserted. We want to pull the fid and bitter end through until the mark 1 is buried inside of the rope. Now we are going to insert the fid and bitter end of the rope back through the rope at a point that is 2 pick points below the first insertion point. We are then going to pull the fit and bitter end of the rope all the way through so that the resulting loop or stitch is pulled tight. At this point we have now created the lock stitch portion of the lock stitch buried eye splice. We are now ready to start the buried portion of the lock stitch buried eye splice. At a point that is two pick points below the last extraction point, insert the fit into the center of the rope 
and push it down the center of the rope until it has all been buried inside. We will then extract the fid and the bitter end out of the rope and remove the tape from the fid and the rope. At this point, we will want to pull out enough rope to complete the tapered portion of the splice. Working from the bitter end, count three picks away from the end and mark the third pair to form a V-shaped mark on the rope. Then count two more picks up the rope and mark the second pair. Alternate counting and marking the third and then second picks for a total of five marked pairs, or about one fid away from the bitter end. We are now going to pull each of the marked strands out of the braid at the point where it has been marked. We will then put on our cut resistant glove and cut off the ends of these strands at their respective marks to form a tapered end. We have almost completed the lock stitch buried eye splice. Starting at the base of the eye, smooth out the bunched up rope away from the eye to bury the tapered bitter end back inside of the body of the rope. We have now completed the lock stitch buried eye splice. It is recommended that a cross stitch is put into the rope to prevent the splice from becoming loose or pulled out when the rope is not under load or when it might be mishandled. Please refer to Cortland's cross stitching instructions. <laughs> 